Welcome back everybody to my small engine repair channel. Today I've got another quick tip on chainsaw repairs when it comes to oiling problems. This part that I have in my hand here is a major culprit on certain steel chainsaws as to why they will not oil. Some of these parts are not manufactured very well and I will show you on this MS261 that I have here in the shop why they will often stop oiling the barn chain. So this I'll be showing you this repair on today is a steel MS-261. So if you own this saw and you start to get an issue with not getting oil to the bar and chain, this specific part right here in my hand is often the culprit. I've got a brand new one here in my hand. I will quickly show you how to get it off the chainsaw. First of all, you want to get the clutch drum off. There's just a clip, you pop it off. The clutch here, you have to unscrew it on the right hand side. It's a reverse threaded clutch. Now you can lock the piston with a piston stop or nylon rope and then use your ratchet and a three quarter inch socket or 19 millimeters and turn clockwise to remove it. Next, you will have this plate, remove that. And the part that I'm talking about is right here. Now it looks like it's okay. It's all intact. It's not broken apart or anything like that. But I'll remove it and show you exactly what's going on. Now here's the part up close. Now the main issue as to why this part goes bad is that the metal rod on the plastic worm gear starts to slide on it like this. So if I show you the new part over here, the metal part on the plastic worm gear is nice and tight. And the reason you want the clip here to be nice and tight on the worm gear is because it drives the oil pump. So if yours is defective like this, the clutch will turn and turn the arm, but it's not going to turn the worm gear to make the oil pump function. Now there is a part number on this part. It is 1121-640-7102. You can see it's stamped on the part here. So this is the part you must get guys. It's around $20 here in Canada. It will fix your non-oiling issue on your steel MS-261. The second you see the arm loose like this on the worm gear, just replace it. Now it's too bad these parts are not better quality because they do go on a professional chainsaw. Now the reinstallation is quite simple. You just put it down in here. Make sure it's flush with the oil pump. And this is how it works. It spins around with the clutch drum. Then this part goes in, then your clutch goes on, then the clutch bearing goes on, put a bit of lithium grease on it, pack it right in there. Now to tighten up the clutch, just lock in your piston with a piston stop and with your 19 millimeter socket and ratchet, just tighten it up a bit. You don't need to tighten it up too much because once you put the bar and chain on, just the resistance will tighten up the clutch by itself. If you do run it without the bar and chain after this to test the oiler, be extremely careful. Do not rev up the chainsaw. If you rev up the chainsaw, the clutch may come off and go flying in pieces. Now this I'm installing a new clutch drum because it's wore out. It is part 1141-007-1002. Here are the full contents of that. It's a 325 7 teeth sprocket. Now it's very critical that when you reinstall the clutch drum that you line up the small hole here to the arm on the oiler worm gear. So sometimes you need your flashlight just to locate the arm. I can sit right down in here and then just line up the clutch drum. Now install your sprocket, the new washer, and now the clip. So this is one of the best ways to see if it's oiling properly. And again, I emphasize to not rev it up if you do not have the burn chain on. If you rev it up too high, the clutch can come apart inside here. So as you can see, sometimes it's just a tiny little part like this that will cause you issues. I've replaced many, many of these on the MS-261. So it's too bad that the quality of well-known brands is going down the drain recently. I also recommend that you put in an OEM part if you do this repair. It is still better than the aftermarket parts. 
and the part number is in the video description as well. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure you're subscribed and comment below as to your experience in dealing with oiling problems on your chainsaw. Have a great day.